What's going on YouTube? It's your boy 252 hundo back again with another video. Hold up, hold up. I gotta do something real quick. I gotta do something really quickly. I would hate to get a strike on... Nope. Yeah, I had to do that. Hate to get a strike on YouTube, but today, today, we are starting a new series on here on NBA Live. Um, and this is a series I'm going to kind of stick to. The other series that I tried to do kind of died out. So um, what you see me doing right here is basically deleting a player so we can have more space. I'm going to do this up until the Live 20 release because at the, you know, I was going to start it on 2K, but 2K is about, it's about to come out this Friday. So there'll be no point to start anything at all on 2k19 so today i had a thought and the thought was man there's some great point guards man in the world so what would it be like if they had a son that played basketball so right here we're basically gonna create steve nash jr Steve Nash Jr. from Canada, because Steve Nash is from Canada. It came down between Gary Payton Jr., um, Steve Nash Jr., and I don't think AI Jr., or um, Jason Kidd Jr. So, I end up going with Steve Nash. And, um, let's see, Canada. Oh, region. <laughs> Region will be Canada. Yep. So he's not from the United States. He is a Canadian. Uh, let's go Toronto. Let's go Toronto. We're going to keep it simple. All right. And the college that he is going to go to is that he went to is Santa Clara. That's where his dad went. Jersey number 13. Um, we're going to keep him a righty. We're going to keep him a righty. And his head, let's see. We can use this as his head. His hair. I'll make his hair. Let's see. Let's see what brown looks like. Or more like a blondish color. All right? Because Steve Nash. I had blonde hair. He he kind of you know. I mean, I like this one. We'll rock with this one. We'll rock with this one. If you if you guys aren't feeling this one, then we will change it up. We're gonna give him a little facial hair. We're gonna make it blonde as well. Oh, these blonde ones are terrible. They don't have a like a, a blonde stubble. We'll use this one. We'll use this one. So we're gonna advance. Play like a guard. And do we want to be a slasher? Backcourt defender, floor general. Steve Nash is a floor general, so we're gonna make this guy a floor general. Can't, do we want to be a point god with a G-A-W-D? Or do we want to be a Maestro, Maestro, which is hitting an open teammate with a pass will give that teammate a sub substantial boost to shooting and finishing. Or do you want to be getting an assist will boost your three-point shooting and defensive skills? I'm going to say Maestro because that's the type of guy that Steve Nash was. So, I'm going to say Maestro. I'm going to make him. So, how tall is Steve Nash? Anyone, anyone know? see Steve Nash is 6'3 so we're gonna make him 6'3 as well basically gonna be just Steve Nash on the floor really we're gonna confirm that now they're gonna ask in a minute do we want to just go to the combine or do we want to play do we want to play um the rise i'm gonna say let's just go to the combine man let's just go ahead and get this show on the road 
But the first, edit player. All right, man. So basically now what we're gonna do is um, animations. So I would actually like for him to have everything his dad has. Um, it's, it's possible. I don't think Steve, yeah, Steve Nash doesn't have a dribble set on NBA Live. So we're gonna go Kimball Walker level two moves. Shots, um, I believe, I hope Steve Nash has a jump shot on here. Hope we don't have to unlock it. Ah, uh, so he does not have a jump shot on here. But we will give him Steph Curry's jump shot. Free throw. I hope Steve Nash is a free throw on here, right? Yeah, I was about to say, okay, Steve Nash is free throw. Definitely. Layup package. Does Steve Nash have a layup package? If so, it's probably locked. He doesn't. Um, so we'll go with Trey Young layup. Wait, but Steve Nash is more of like a floater god than anything else. Um, shout out Share Factory. Um, we'll go Darren Rose layups. Um, dunks. I don't want him to really have a crazy dunk package because he didn't, you know, Steve Nash didn't really dunk like that. But all these dunk packages are crazy. Okay, we'll just give him a, um, we'll just give him the, uh, the default dunk package. Um, general celebration. I guess we'll keep these the same. Um... Outfits though. Um, home home outfits. I'm just gonna change the shoes for home in a way right now until I get drafted. But home, I'm definitely gonna be a Nike guy. So I don't want anything. I don't, I'm not gonna wear anything but Nike. Oh, I clicked on Adidas. Oh my bad. Even though those Adidas do look nice on him. All right, so um, the home games, we're probably going to wear these Kobe Elites, these Hornet-colored uh, Hornet colored Kobe's. And then for the away, um, we'll probably wear... Oh, that's for the street home and street away. Because I haven't been drafted in the league yet, I can't choose the shoes that I wear in my NBA uniform. So the shoes that I wear in the draft combine are probably going to be the Hyper Dunks, which I really don't want to wear. But um, if all goes well, I really want to go to the Suns, which they have the first pick. So I want to try to go to the Suns, you know. Follow right in Pop's footsteps. Why not, right? We're going to wear these Kobe's on the road. And then we're gonna change them up when we get to um, the league. So yeah. Um, maybe I might give him a tattoo, or I don't know yet. I might give him a tattoo. The rise. I would actually like to skip and unlock all the modes. Okay, there's a new train unlocked. Um, the league. Let's see what she has to say about us. Or someone has to say about us. Alright, oh, I'll open those later. 
I'm Cassidy Hubbard with ESPN. This year's NBA Combine is right around the corner. All the top prospects will be gathered in one spot to showcase their talents before the draft. Now, there's a lot of early buzz about a player that some are already dubbing the one. Straight out of high school, skipped college to fine tune his skill set overseas at streetball and pro-am courts, where he gave an early indication of what he could do. The question is, can he keep it up under the intense scrutiny of actual NBA scouts? We'll be following this one's rise or fall. Keep it locked right here on ESPN. All right, so this is me just texting my mentor. I'm gonna let you guys read these. So yeah, guys, I actually want to go to the Suns. Um, one, I feel like it'll be a decent, it'll be a good fit for me. That's number one. Number two, I also, I mean, why not though, right? It would be a good fit. I feel like Devin Booker needs a point guard in the backcourt with him. Um, yeah. So basically, before I start the combine, let me tell you guys this. In the draft... I mean, in the draft combine, if you go number one overall, or it, it is possible to go number one overall. So if you do go top five or whatever, everything's going to be thrown off. What I mean by that is, if you go number one overall to the Suns, DeAndre Ayton will most likely go second to the next spot, and so forth and so forth. So it's not like 2K where if you go number one overall, you're still playing with DeAndre Ayton. It's not like that. That's very unrealistic. This is realistic. If you go number one, it's pushing people back. So we're going to see how far I can go. Basically, this is the combine. And it's two minute. I mean, it's five minute quarters. It's five minute halves like college. So let's go to see. Let's go. I'm on the black team. I'm guarding Trey Young. Okay. Uh, Trey Young burnt me. Let's go. We out. Oh. What a Steve Nash S pass. Okay, let's go. Mm. This is raw and uncut footage. I'm getting I'm recording all this. hit with a charge I mean I got hit with the with the um oh Marvin Bagley ah I did not mean to pass it to you but you're gonna take it anyway and make it doesn't matter Michael Porter I wanted to get Marvin Bagley in the paint that's what I wanted to do but I'll take it so as you guys know Steve Nash for the most part if you guys do watch basketball um Steve Nash was more of a facilitator than a scorer um, that's what I want to be. I want to be a facilitator. You know, I want to facilitate. Simple. You know, there's people here at the combine. It's a crowd here. I want to show out, man. I want to show out. As Trey Young misses both free throws. Oh my goodness. And they're just getting assaulted in the paint. Oh no, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Mo Bamba. Yes, sir. Uh -oh. 
Oh, Trey Young gets the backdoor cut. That's my bad. I tried to beat him on the break. And they got the ball back. Oh, give it to Marvin Bagley in the post. Let him work. Let him work. That's another assist. I now have four assists. And you see my draft stock in the top left corner. Oh, he got me with the pump fake. He missed. Come on. Shea Gill just Alexander, no good. Had to pick up on Gilgis Alexander's guy because he got Trey Young. Oh, uh, Jaron Jackson. I'll take any team that drafts me, but I would really love to go to Phoenix. Just to make this realistic. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. DeAndre eight and oh my goodness, he's strong. Oh, up court to Marvin Bagley. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Come on. He doing too much dribbling. Oh no, sir. I'm there. Oh, off the pick and roll. Up. Oh, Shea Gilgis Alexander. Let's go. I gotta have about five assists. Oh my goodness, what a block. Trey Young gets it and put that little lucky vest back up. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that Steve Nash like pass. My gosh. Oh, he missed. He missed. I got the rebound. Let's go, Marvin. Back and give it back. Oh, I got blocked. I got blocked. Come on. Now, that should have been a foul call. That should have been a foul call, man. And you can hear the guys talk to each other too. That's another cool feature. We gonna give it to Mo Bamba. He gonna give it back. Yes, sir. Quick little give and go layup. Trey Young half quarter. No good. Man, I don't know what to say, man. Trey Young draft stock might be dropping. His draft stock might be dropping. We up twenty one to eight. Real quick, how many how many assists does the does the kid have? Got seven assists. Four point seven assists. I need a double double. I need a double double. I don't usually chase stats, but I need a double double. Ah. Oh. I need a double double to make my presence felt. Right now I'm sitting thirteenth on the drive boards. 
Trey Young, where are you going? This is Clamp Nation. This is Clamp Nation. This is Clamp Nation. Where are you going? Oh my God. Oh wow. I mean, I was there. He just got a really good shot off. Michael Porter Jr. Oh my goodness. He's really trigger happy. Oh my. Trey Young. Oh, no good block. Oh, give it to Shake Gilders Alexander. Let's go. Hey, that's that's eight. That's um that's eight assists. I'm at draft stock. I'm at the number eight spot right now in the draft. Steady moving up. Oh no, sir. Come on, man. I would have rather took the foul. I gotta show him I can shoot, right? Ah, my drive stop went up to nine. That was a bad shot, I'm not gonna lie. I'm there. I am there. Steve, oh, Steve Nash Jr., let's get it. That's us. It's our ball. Oh, I thought it hit Trey Young, man. a nasty lob and one from Marvin Bagley Jr. That lob would have been disgusting. Hey, he just threw that down. That would have been ugly. Oh no. Yeah, that's blocked. I was there. Hey, lock up, lock up. I need one more assist for a 10th assist. I need one more assist for number 10. Who else would I go to? Marvin Bagley Jr. Let's go. That's my 10th assist. Six points, 10 assists. That was, yeah, that was a horrible shot. Oh my goodness. How was that a back call him up? I didn't even call for it. He threw it. Oh, we all to a break though. We all to a break though. You gotta throw the ball faster. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, this is all me right here. And one! Steve Nash Jr. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Oh yes, oh yes, the blow by. Yes sir, that's my double double right there. That's my double double right there. 11 points, 10 assists. I'm number four right now at the draft stock though. I tried to help on the double. That's my bad. 
That's my bad. I tried to help on the double. Come on, Marvin. Shea Gilgis Alexander. Ah. Oh. Kevin Knox with the step back. Oh, he just tried. Oh, my. Nice dunk. Oh, yes. The blow by Trey Young. The pull up. Oh, no. My draft stock is at number four. Oh, my draft stock is at number three now. What I can do is I might end up at number two. But I'm gonna take the ball down the court after this free throw, and I'm gonna hand it off for a shot at the end. Who am I go to? Oh, so my draft stock is at number three right now. Sometimes you can get lucky and go number one. Um, but right now it's saying I'm no no later than number three, no higher than number three, something like that. You know, right but I feel like I played good, man. I feel like I played. I feel like I played to the best of my ability. I had 12 points. I mean, I had 11 points and 10 rebounds, I believe. I won. I mean, 11 points and um, 10 assists. So, man, I tried. I tried, man. I tried to play the best that I could do to the best of my ability. Let's see what Stephen A and Skip Bayless, I mean, not Skip Bayless, but Stephen A and uh, Max Kellerman got to say. Okay, Stephen A, combine's over. We got the scouting reports. But what I want to know is who stood out to you? Well, there were a number of exceptional looking. And notice I said looking because everybody knows looks can be deceiving. There were a bunch of exceptional looking prospects, but the one clearly stood out above the crowd. It was exceptional. I got to give credit where credit is due right now. What are your thoughts on it? I, I would agree. I would say the one did very well and was on the upper end of the spectrum. I wouldn't say number one overall, and I think the scouting reports agree with me there, but top five pick. So you agree he'll get, he'll get snatched in the top five? I, I'd say it's likely. I would say the one. So yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show y'all in the next episode. It's gonna be the draft and this video and this um message by my mentor. Top five pick. Without so further ado, it's been cool. Two five two.